the closest thing you can find here to shade. Yesterday I got to Lodwar and uh, I lost a few hours trying to find a way to get a stamp into Kenya on my passport but it was impossible. They told me I should go to Eldoret that is way south. Also, I, even if I wanted I, you can't cycle there because there is a war between tribes in between and it's very dangerous. So I decided to hit Le Turkana and uh, just get into Ethiopia without any stamps on any Kenyan stamps in my passport. Not nor the stamp in nor the stamp out. Because here in Lodwar I thought I could stamp in and at the same time stamp out. Because between here and the border with Ethiopia there isn't a proper immigration office. The road is heading north at the moment. I hit the shore of the lake basically and turned left uh, to go north, north on Lake Turkana and into Ethiopia. I still haven't seen the lake because uh, it was very windy and uh, there was lots of dust and in the air, so I really haven't seen the lake yet but the road now goes a bit north and then it gets closer to the lake I love seeing the camels sunrise on Lake Turkana and this is the mission where I slept last night. They gave me a room and everything, but uh, I'd rather sleep on a hard surface. Had a shower with a bucket of water and I washed my clothes and I had goat for dinner. The sun is already high, I'm putting my sunscreen on, but it's over, so it would be nice if the people, if the good friends of DMK would send me a new bottle some, uh, somewhere uh, between Kenya and Ethiopia, it will work. New day, new adventure on Lake Turkana. But it's still hot as yesterday. Running low on water as well. Still have 30 kilometers to get to the village where I can go water. Get there by tonight, I think. Oh man. This is tough. I 
for uh, hot and dry weather and cold and wet but nonetheless it's difficult like a cold drink, some cold water, just freshen up myself a little, wash away some of the dust, some of the heat. But it's all good. I think by tonight I will get to a village so I can get some water. I could have got water to a village that I just passed about 10 kilometers ago, but they drink salty water. It's not gonna help much. But also I should just filter it, sanitize it. Lots of work just to drink salty water. I'm gonna have a bit of rest here. Enjoy the moment and keep on going. It's all good, guys. It's all good. <laughs> Sole, rossi col fiatone, neanche da bere. I'm dreaming of a swimming pool, cold, filled with Sprite and beer. Yes, it's over there. Just waiting for me. Got to a village where I I got a few drinks, some water for today and tomorrow. They were not cold drinks, unfortunately, but they were cool, coolish. Um, my plan was to sleep there, but it was a bit too messy and uh, it doesn't feel like a good vibe and I, I'm moving on. I think I will camp on the beach. There is some uh, sandy tracks going there and I will be closer to Ethiopian border as well. Um, in the village I met a few people with uh, AK-47 which is always not nice I think. But uh, I think I'll have to get used to it. Let's go. This is the road uh, to the police checkpoint. Hey. That one? Hold 
River. So this way. Okay. That is on my map. This is on my map, yeah? They blocked. This one is blocked. Blocked. Yeah. So will I go there? Yeah. This way? Pass this. Can I go straight yeah, here? Straight. Straight. Yeah. Will I find the other yeah, road? I find the road. Okay. Thank you very much, yeah. my friend. Yeah. So they're straight, yeah? Yeah, straight. Okay. Yeah. Pass that way. Okay. And then I can get to the police checkpoint. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Okay, That's thank the, you. The Fekos Road. Okay. Yeah, this one. Okay. This blocked. Blocked, okay. Yeah. I go straight, yeah? yeah straight. Okay, thank you. Asante. Where is the road? Where is the road? Show me the road. This is the road? You sure? This or there the road? Where is the road? There? Here or there? Here? Yeah. Okay. Asante. Sure, this is the road, yeah. You got it. Let's go. Ciao. Apparently, the road I was following is being blocked by a river. I mean, I have my doubts that there is a river here, but that's what I was told. And I was told to go straight that there was another route. Apparently, it's this one, but I'm drained. And uh, I can't cycle it. It's uh, the sun is too soft, and I have no energies left. And I wanted to do another six, seven kilometers to arrive uh, to a beach, isolated area on the lake. I'm not sure I will be able to do it. And I'm not even sure I'm following the right path at the moment. It surely is exhausting. And uh, I have one hour till sunset. And then I'll have 10, 15 minutes before it's dark. So I should hurry up. And uh, I'm heading straight into a village. 
So that's not assuring as well. Anyway, let's see. The sun has set officially, and there are still some way to go to the place I had in mind. There is still about two kilometers. It's a, it's a beach that supposedly is quiet. But I just met two people with uh, two shepherds with AK-47 and they asked me food. And of course I didn't give them. Yeah, I don't know. These places are tough. I think we are getting to the beach of Lake Turkana. We came here only for the flamingos because someone asked me to, to take some pictures of the flamingos but I cannot see any flamingos. So, such a waste. Maybe there is a couple of ones down there. I'll have to find uh, very quickly a place to camp because in about 10 minutes it's gonna be dark. Uh, a human skull, very promising. Not that human. I think this is a good spot where to pitch my tent. That's not too much shit. When it's windy, it's always a bit of a process and there are no rocks. The only rock I found is this one, it's lighter than, I don't know, than something light. Good morning on Lake Turkana. I'm about to break up camp. This is where I stepped. And that's a bike with a sunrise. Three sixty views. Unfortunately, there are no flamingos at the lake. I came only for the flamingos. There are some birds, but uh, not the flamingos. You know, flamingos, lots of different birds. I wish I had a couple of liters of water more. There's uh, an airstrip 
about 15 kilometers from here and I uh, wish I could find some water there otherwise it's uh, it's gonna be a thirsty day I've been trying to manage the water ever since last night I could drink like a couple of liters straight now but uh, let's see what I can find breaking down camp the sun is up look at this view I'm in Kenya or in Bolivia I expect to see alpacas any minute and llamas Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, there was no village, uh, but on the way to what I thought it was a village, there was a mission, and I was able to get one liter of water and one liter of coke. Should have got more, but I really thought there was a village, and I asked, is there a village? He said yes. But nobody says no in these places. I should have known better. I was uh, I was just stopped by the military. They told me that area is not safe. I I think it's not true, they were making it up. And then they said uh, there's lots of uh, tribe uh, troubles, but because they are here, they are uh, safe. So, is it safe or is it not safe? At the end of the day, I think it's safe. And now, there's a military, it's a police checkpoint. They'll probably go through my documents, see that I have no stamp on my Kenyan passport. And uh, I'm sure they'll be happy about it. Okay, it's done with the. It should be done with the military and police. In Kenya. I didn't check uh, my passport at all. Now it's. About 35 kilometers to the first town in uh, Ethiopia. Hopefully, I can get some water there. That's a lot of sand. Can't go any faster than this. I should try the next lane. 